I'm gone. Four shots of Patron, got me, got me in the zone. Your girl keep asking me to fly out, leave me alone. You need to mind your business. It's your boy, T Main, right back at it, right back for another day of this battle rap. Y'all already know what's up. So we got a lot going on. Battle rap starting to shape shape itself a lot better now. It's starting to really heat up. Um, one of the one of the people I wanted to talk about, or one of the battles I must say I want to talk about, is basically the Charlie Cliffs versus Easy to Block Captain. Um, you know this battle right here, it's been low key stirring up for for about a year for real. To be honest with you, um, I look at this as could be a spectacular battle, a, a style clash in my opinion. Um, but at the same time, I like what. I like what Easy does. Um, I feel like he has a whole bunch of layers to what he do. He's not gonna sit up there and not be able to be funny and take it super serious. Like he has his moments where he gonna have you rolling, have you laughing and stuff like that. So I feel like he can keep up with clips. Um, not on the joke side, but as far as keeping it entertaining for the for the viewers. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we all want is to be entertained. The the issue with clips is I don't know what clips I'm going to get. And it's sad because this guy has done amazing work for battle rap. He's done a lot for battle rap. You know what I mean? Battle rap ain't the same when clips ain't in it. You know, it's kind of it's kind of like how um, in the NFL, they be like, you know what I'm saying? The NFL ain't good when the Dallas Cowboys ain't good or in NBA when the Knicks ain't good. You know what I mean? The NBA ain't good. Like. <clears throat> so certain people bring that value to, to certain situations. And I feel like clips bring a lot of value to battle rap. He's um he's on national TV all the time. You know what I mean? We're wilding out. He's been on he's been on for so many seasons, it's crazy. So he just stands stand stay on that. So he has eyes coming to battle rap that wouldn't necessarily be coming to battle rap. So He's one of the, I think he's like the third highest, second, sec, third or second or third. He's been like toggling with Arsenal for the most views as a battle rapper. Like what he brings to battle rap is, is crazy. But when he's on his A game and he bringing you the Charlie Clips that, the Charlie Clips that y'all grown to like, he's unstoppable. He's He was on a nice trajectory to possibly being one of my, not one of my top battle rapper. Like I was uh, very, very interested in in, in um, the boy clips work. You know what I mean? Throughout the early stages of his career, and um, it was always between like him, guys like him, guys like Tay Rock. You know, and I'm talking about after my uh, Sirius Jones and Murder Mook. You know, time frame and Jay Mills. You know, they were a little bit earlier then. I started looking like, okay, this Clips guy, this Tay Rock guy, like Averb, like, well, I caught on a little bit later to Averb. I was I was on the Hitman holler before Averb, but I still, um, you know, watch Averb, bro. But we gonna get to him. But as far as like Clips, no showing battles, um, coming to battles without without rounds, freestyling and, and whatnot. It's funny and it's cool, but I like it more when it's the spur of the moment type situation. Like, like when it's he he's he's battling, he's battling something happened, a heckler in the crowd or something trying to throw him off his game. Boom, he hit he hit with a nice little line. That type of stuff right there is what I like. You know what I'm saying? Them the type of freestyles I like when when um you know, your opponent said something and you just couldn't help but to rebuttal because you can think fast enough to come up with a dope rebuttal to make it sound good, make it make sense or whatever. I like that, you know, but the just, you know what? I ain't even come prepared, so I'm about to hit you with a freestyle this round stuff. I need that to stop, man, because I can't keep taking you and Battle Rap serious if you're going to continue to do things like that because that, my brother, is not cool it's not you know what i'm saying i don't even be as excited as i used to be to see one of your battles like 
And this ain't a, a, a shit on, on clips moment right here that I'm trying to have. I'm just stating facts and being realistic, trying to be as political as possible without like disrespecting anybody because you know that ain't what we do here at Top Flow. But I'm just that disappointed in what I've been seeing lately from clips. And I feel like if clips come ready, prepared, show up. Which I'm pretty sure he gonna show up to this one. It's in Miami, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, come on, man. He gonna be at this one for sure. Um, but when he do show up, I need him to be prepared because you know what? Easy to block captain will simply just body Charlie Clips if Charlie Clips don't fight back and don't come out there with, with some with some real bars, some I didn't, you know what I'm saying, took the time out my day to, you know, make sure that I put together some real good content type stuff. If he ain't doing that, okay, man, he, if he ain't doing that, listen, he he gonna be he gonna be in trouble. Easy to block is 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 fire, man. Now I know he been having a little bit of shortcomings from people. You know how it go when when you when you your trajectory go up like this and you get up to that high space, that's when they they gonna attack you. They trying to get you to come back down to reality and bring you back down on the surface with everybody else. And easy name was starting to get super big in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Easy to block captain, probably one of the most known battle rappers out there now after the scenario with Remy and everything like that. So let's just call it what it is, man. He ain't really stopped being fire as a rapper. I think that people was just so um, caught up in his storyline and whatever. And, and then it turned into, okay, let's, let's shit on easy day. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I think this battle is, is definitely something that you want to see if you get Charlie Clips, the real Charlie Clips, not not the the play play Charlie. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I ain't gonna lie, like I like Charlie Clips is a good guy. He's not somebody that I look at as shysty trying to cheat the culture or anything like that. I think sometimes you just get so good at something that you're doing that you know what I'm saying. He's doing this on Wild and Out, freestyling and stuff like that all day for a living on Wild and Out. Um, but I used to do freestyles and stuff like that coming up. And, and after a while, you start getting burnt out. You start kind of saying the same thing that you said before, you know, in just different ways. It's just like, it, it, and then the fans start looking like, all right, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? But it's nothing like shock value when you first started freestyling. And they like, whoa. But after a while, man, freestyling can take a toll on your brain. And I'm not talking about like what Jay-Z do where he just write his bars in his head because he practiced what one bar at a time, boom, then add a bar, then add, no, he do two bars, then he add two bars, then he add two bars, and he run it back in his mind. No, I'm talking about, I'm about to just start rapping right now about whatever come to my mind at this moment and make it sound good. Like, that's what I used to do all the time. But then after a while, it gets draining because you got to beat that last time because everybody was so observing and loved it so much that they like, man, I can't wait to hear what he can say next. And then you come back with another fire one. Now you know for being fired. Now the bar is set so high. If you come out there with a mediocre or so-so or just good performance, they like, what is that? We came, we paid our money to see you go off like you did back then or even better. That's what we looking for. So, all in all, I say that to say this, man. I feel like this battle is definitely going to be worth um, my time. I'm, I'm going to actually purchase this one. I've been a little stingy lately because, um, you know, I caffeine had me spoiled a little bit. Not going to lie. Caffeine had me spoiled a little bit because I was getting this stuff for free. So, you know, like Smack said, hey, you know, it is what it is. But I got the app. And I'm waiting for that one event that, that they just did to come back out, too, to come on on the URL app. I know they just did that. I know they just had an event or whatever. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see that. But you know how they be dropping it one by one on the app. Whatever, whatever. But another battle, though, that's going to be going down that we're going to get to that we're going to talk about. We got Av versus Rosenberg Raw. Froze. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good. Um... It sounds like a good battle to me. Uh, Fro's been on a on a nice little rampage. He's been doing good. 
Uh, he said he gonna come out. He said he gonna battle about four to six times this year. He ain't gonna go too crazy because he been doing his blogging thing. And I hope that him and his success with the blogging thing ain't gonna slow up the impact of how good his rounds are. Because you know what I'm saying? Once you start getting a little money, you start doing things, your mind start veering off a little bit. You could lose the hunger. And I'm not saying that's what he going to do. And I'm not trying to put no bad juju on him. Not at all. I'm just saying, I wanna, I'm want i just interested to see how he come out there now that he's focusing on other things. You know what I'm saying? Um, to captivate the fan base other than just battle rap. You see what I'm saying? Av is Av. He the shark. We want to see what he going to do just because uh, he he's dynamic. He's a puncher. He's he's one of the best punchers out there. Um, he stopped drinking, so he on he on a high trajectory. And then you got Kitchen Clean versus Dot. Dot bring that energy. Dot gonna be somebody that's gonna have some creative witty bars. He gonna be he's gonna get the crowd involved. That's just how he is. He's real good at that. And Kitchen Clean is also good at getting the crowd involved. But he's not like. It ain't about how much energy. It's just what he say, how he said, his swag and everything like that. We gonna have a little blog. I'm gonna probably blog about that one separately as well. I just wanted to get this easy to block Captain Charlie clips out the way, man. Y'all like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to Top Flow. We back in action like full time and with great content. And as you can see, I got my setup back up here, man. We ain't playing in 2024, man. All 24, we on go, man. And, um, yeah, salute to y'all for watching this, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Share this video. Let everybody know what's that top flow. We back. All right, y'all. I'm gone. Four shots of Patron. Got me, got me in the zone. Your girl keep asking me to fly out. Leave me alone. You need to mind your business. 